Hello, everyone. Mr. I here with another edition of PE at Home. Okay, today's activity is going to be bowling. Okay, it's going to be pretty fun. We're going to practice our bowling skills and our rolling skills to try to make, knock over some pins. And you can do this inside your house, wherever you have space. The only thing you're going to need is a ball or Again, you can make a sock into a ball. Try to make it, shape it so it's a nice round ball, okay, not flat. You have a ball this size that's soft. You can use that as well. Okay, and the other thing you're gonna need is some things to knock over. I used three empty water bottles, just like that. So they're easy and they tip over really easily. Or you can use whatever else you have around the house, any other type of bottle. Maybe you can even use um, cups, plastic cups, solo cups. You can stack them. You can use three. You can use as many as you like. You can even stack them up so they're stacked. You can try to knock them over that way. But I would like you to creative have fun and create your own bowling alley the other thing you're going to need is so you already need the sock very simple just use three empty water bottles that works well make it into a diamond shape two water bottles in the back and one in the front and the other thing you're going to need is a towel two towels okay so you're going to make up your own bowling alley so grab a towel and roll it so it ends up being long like this. And you need two of them. And you're going to put one down on the floor and the other one running right next to it parallel. And that's going to be your bowling alley, OK? For this video, I had pool noodles. So I used the pool noodles so it would look a little better in this video so you can see what I'm about. I'm going to be about to do right now, okay? So, let me move the camera here a little bit, and I'm going to show you the bowling alley that I made. Now, you can be uh, creative, have as much fun as you like. That's my bowling alley. You can make a starting line. My starting line is going to be right here. That's where I'm going to roll the ball from. Your foot can't step over that line, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to try to roll it, Keep the ball inside your lane and try to knock down all the pins. You're gonna you get two tries. You get two tries to knock down the pins. If you knock them all down on the first shot, it's called a strike. Just like in bowling. If you knock down two of the pins, you come running back and you roll again. Try to knock down that last pin. If you knock it down on the second shot, it's called a spare. Okay, so that's what you're going to do with this activity, and I'm going to make it into a fun challenge, and you're just going to count how many pins you can knock down in one minute. So you're going to set a timer for one minute, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to run, you're going to roll the ball down your lane, you're going to bowl it, you're going to knock down as many pins as you can, okay? And you're going to count. And after one minute, you're going to see how many you knock down, okay? And then let somebody else in your family try. See if they can beat your score. Or you keep trying. You try to beat your own score, okay? Just have fun with it. I'm going to do this right now so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to set a one, one minute timer, okay? There we go. One minute. I'm going to put my phone right here. And my starting line is going to be right here, okay? So I'm going to set the video like this. And again, remember, when you are rolling, when you are rolling, whatever hand you throw with, you're going to step with the opposite foot. So if I'm throwing my right hand, I'm stepping with my left foot. So I'm stepping and I'm going, I'm getting down low. It's almost just like our underhand throwing practice. You step with the opposite foot. You swing your arm back just like the underhand toss. 
but you're going to go down really low and roll the ball so it rolls on the floor. It doesn't go up in the air. You want it to have a nice roll so you can knock down those pins and practice your aim, okay? So here we go. This is going to look something like this. There's my bowling alley. I'm going to start my timer. So you want to be kind of quick because this is a speed challenge. You're going to try to knock down as many pins as you can. The only time you can reset the pins is when they all fall down. So I'm going to start. Here we go. Ready? I'm going to start my timer. And there goes my timer. So I'm going to set, roll. You got to be fast. I knock down all three. Then you got to reset them up. So there we go. I set them back up. Now I've got to run back. I got three. You got to keep track. Oh, got him again. Bounce off the pool noodle there. So how many do I have now? Three plus three. Six. Good. Do it again. Take your time with it. Set. And roll. Oh, I missed. I'm still at six. I got to run back. Step and roll. Missed again. Oh, I missed. My sock keeps rolling to the right. Oh, and I missed again. I think that's my last one. That was one minute. So I only got six pins that fell down. So my score is six. See if you can beat me and get more than six pins. Remember, every time you throw it, you gotta run, be as fast as you can, pick up the pins, reset them up, and then roll again until you get to one minute. Hope you have fun with this activity. Okay, and stay safe, keep exercising.